calorie-free cookies? No, I don't believe in that. Cookies are a great analogy for embedded carbon and calculating carbon footprints. You don't see the embedded carbon or calories in your products of food, but that doesn't mean that they're not there. The tricky thing with aluminium is that its carbon count isn't fixed. It can range from as low as 2 kilos of CO2 to a massive 20 kilos of CO2 per kilo of aluminium produced. This means the where and the how of aluminium production significantly impacts its carbon footprint, just like how the recipe affects the calorie count in my cookies. Aluminium can be infinitely recycled without losing its core properties. But not all recycling processes are created equally. Some favor more waste in production. Let's take the cooking analogy. You make the dough and start by cutting out your shapes. Your dough contains 400 calories per 100 grams. Each cookie you cut then also contains 400 calories per 100 grams right? To minimize waste, you position your cookie cutter carefully and repurpose the dough leftovers to cut out more cookies, maximizing production. The scrap and reused dough still holds 400 calories per 100 grams, right? You can't sell this as calorie-free, can you? Unfortunately, not all players think this way. Some are promoting their industrial leftover as carbon-free even when they carry the same calories or emissions from the original batch. So for example, if the aluminium was produced using energy from coal power, then the waste from the production line, if recycled, should carry the same footprint. We are mindful bakers, eaters, communicators. Let's be mindful consumers too. Ask where our products come from and how they're made. Together, we can push for truly low-carbon products and make a real difference. 